okay welcome back to the channel guys this is how you're going to wire your Mitsubishi PLC okay now first of all you need to know what is the model okay FX1 S20 MT okay now actually you need to check if your PLC is made in Japan as you can see here this is made in Japan okay now you will notice that if you will try to measure the input okay so you can see there let's say the x0 and the common if you will use a multimeter you will notice that each input from any input to common you will be measuring a 24 volts dc there okay so meaning this plc is made in japan okay as you can see in the label here okay so what will happen you need to wire this plc in this way okay so let me show you the uh, wiring connection okay so this is my plc okay now as i said there is a built-in uh, power supply that is the common and the 24 volts okay so what you will do here you need to trigger the inputs by the negative 24 volts or the common okay as you can see my common i tried to wire it okay put it in common zero common one common two and so on for my outputs y0 y1 y2 and so on and of course the negative 24 volts or the common will be used in triggering your inputs okay so that like this one i I've shown you one push button switch. Let's say that is a start. Then the negative 24 volts will be injected to your input terminal like X1. So this is how you are going to wire the input and the output. For the output, I'm using one relay here, okay, to activate the 24 volts DC relay. So 24 volts is directly connected to 14 and the y0 output will be connected to 13 meaning this is a i think this one is a transistor let me check okay so again how do you know that it is a transistor as you can see in the model fx1 s dash 20 mt so t there represents transistor so if your plc is using a transistor make sure you will use a relay and uh, external relay to trigger your coil or your output maybe it's a lamp a motor so you need to use a 24 volts coil relay so that your plc will be the one to uh, trigger the relay then the relay will turn on or switch on the connected load okay so once again the negative 24 volts or the common will be the one to trigger the input so make sure uh, you are doing or you are wiring the inputs in this fashion okay now for some other plc uh, the 24 volts will be the one to trigger the inputs but make sure to check first which one okay so for this several uh, Mitsubishi PLC, this is made in Japan. So the negative 24 volts or the common will be the one to trigger your input uh, channel or input port. Okay. So again, thank you for joining me. Once again, this is your host, Santos Capilan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Bye for now.